our whole universe was in a hot, dense state. Then, nearly 14 billion years ago, expansion started. Wait. Hey gang, it's episode 268 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. For the second episode of season six, I thought we might cover one of the highest rated TV shows in recent memory. I've got Big Bang Theory trivia in three rounds of 10 questions each. If you're new to the show, welcome. This is a weekly trivia podcast where I throw 30 questions at you and you do your best to answer. You can find out more about the show at dorkygeekynerdy.com. A big thank you to everyone that's left reviews and become patrons in the last few months. If you'd like to learn more, check out www.patreon.com slash dorkygeekynerdy. That's enough fiddle faddle. You're here for trivia. What it be, trivia lovers? It's your pal Ryan Buds, host of Trivia with Buds, a Monday through Friday pop culture podcast with episodes under 10 minutes to give your nostalgic brain a workout. With over 2,000 episodes, you're all set for fun and games on your next long flight, road trip, or weekend hangout with friends and family. Check out recent episodes on famous mullets, Dungeons and Dragons, classic cocktails, and tons more. And for info on virtual, in person, and hybrid trivia, bingo, and game show events, go to my website, triviawithbuds.com. Cheers! The Dorky Round Number 1. Before they got married, which character's last name is never mentioned on screen? Penny Number 2. Which Star Trek actor played himself in 17 episodes of The Big Bang Theory? Will Wheaton. Number three. The show inspired what spin off starting in 2017? Young Sheldon. Number four. At the beginning of the series, Penny works for what restaurant chain? The Cheesecake Factory. Number five. The four main guys all work at what real world university? The California Institute of Technology, or Caltech. Number six. What TV legend plays Professor Proton on numerous episodes? Bob Newhart. Number seven. Sheldon is obsessed with what mode of transportation? Trains. Number eight. Who plays the character of Penny on The Big Bang Theory? Kelly Cuoco. Number 9. Rajesh Kuthrapali initially suffers from selective mutism around what type of people? <laughs> Women, though he does overcome this. Number 10. Which character is sent to the International Space Station? Howard Wallowitz. The Geeky Round. Number one. What Canadian band gave us the theme song for the show?
Bare Naked Ladies. Number two, star Johnny Galecki and guest stars Laurie Metcalf and Sarah Gilbert all appeared on what 80s and 90s sitcom? Roseanne. Number three, Leonard and Sheldon, prior to moving in with their girlfriends, live in what apartment? Apartment 4A. Number 4. The show takes place in what California city? Pasadena. Number 5. The passing of actress Carol Ann Susie led to the death of which character? Debbie Wallowitz, Howard's mother. Number six. What is the name of Sheldon's twin sister? <coughs> Melissa Missy Cooper. Number seven. What recurring character wrote books titled Needy Baby, Greedy Baby, and The Disappointing Child. <coughs> Dr. Beverly Hofstetter. Number eight, how many seasons did the show have? Twelve. Number nine, if you include the unaired pilot, who are the only two characters to appear in all 280 episodes? <coughs> Leonard and Sheldon. Penny, Howard, and Raj appear in all 279 aired episodes. Number 10. Penny hails from what Midwestern state? <coughs> Nebraska. Specifically, she's from Omaha. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. Like her character, Mayim Bialik has a Ph.D. What's hers in? Neuroscience. Number two, a knockoff series called The Theorists aired in what former Soviet Republic? <coughs> Belarus. Once the actors learned it was a ripoff of an American series, they all quit. Number three, what pair is credited with creating the Big Bang Theory? <coughs> Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady. Number four, what was the working title for the series? Lenny, Penny, and Kenny. Number five, The Big Bang Theory debuted in what year? <coughs> the pilot episode, titled Pilot, premiered on Monday, September 24th, 2007. Number six, what is the name of Stewart's store?
the Comic Center of Pasadena. Number 7. Sheldon goes for ice cream and visits a carnival with what Star Wars actor? James Earl Jones. They also play a prank on Carrie Fisher. Number 8. What is the title of the final episode? The Stockholm Syndrome. Number 9. Throughout the course of the series, how many girlfriends did Leonard have? Five. Number 10. What actress plays Bernadette Rostenkowski? <laughs> Melissa Rauch. We're done with Big Bang Theory trivia. How did you do? Let me know on social media. You can follow the show on Facebook, Threads, Instagram, Blue Sky, and even Reddit. I'll be back next week with another three rounds of trivia. Here's a clue. What sitcom was pitched as the show about nothing? Another huge sitcom, this time from the 90s. See you on Wednesday. This was episode 268 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. If you'd like to help support the show, become a patron at patreon.com slash dorkygeekynerdy. This podcast is written, produced, and hosted by me, Brian Rollins. If you're into audiobooks or looking to have your book turned into an audiobook, contact me at thevoicesinmyhead.com. This show was released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 4.0 International License. Thanks for listening. Immortality isn't just about living forever. Sometimes it's about forever refusing to let things die. For his 15th birthday, David Rose wishes for things to go back to the way they were. He wants the nightmares to end, the bullies to leave, and the claustrophobic memories of his near drowning to disappear, not to mention his surreal encounter with a mythical creature. He stands with his little sister Rachel in front of their mother's grave and pledges to seek the truth about what really happened on that terrible evening a year ago. But this quest for truth threatens to unleash a sinister plot centuries in the making. David must awaken in time to the incredible truth, to his newfound powers, and to the realization that to protect his family and survive in a world he's always known, he must come to grips with the dark secrets of a world he never knew existed. Evolved Publishing presents An Extraordinary Adventure Through Time, an epic tale of hesitant heroism and the timeless battle between good and evil. In the first book, in the David Rose series of young adult fantasies. The Awakening of David Rose, written by Daryl Rothman and narrated by Brian Rollins. Available now on Audible, iTunes, Spotify, and more. <laughs>